Hi everyone, Dr. Chiam here from Anso Medical. Um, let's talk about a topic that is not very commonly seen on aesthetic clinic websites. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit more about tattoo removal. So increasingly, we are seeing a number of patients uh, who may have gotten a tattoo in their younger days and wish to remove them. Tattoos have been part of human civilization for the longest time, even in ancient civilizations, Egypt, Greece. Um, tattoos have been used to enhance beauty, to um, show uniqueness or solidarity. Basically, tattoos are external pigments that are injected into the skin either intentionally or traumatically or accidentally. Um, broadly, we can classify tattoos into um, amateur tattoos, professional tattoos, uh, traumatic tattoos, or even medical tattoos. So amateur tattoos are basically tattoos that are done by hand, and uh, these are done by non-professionals uh, using a sharp object to inject uh, pigment or dye into the skin. Uh, these generally are not so deep and they contain less ink compared to the professional tattoos. So these are generally easier to remove. Professional tattoos are done with a machine and these usually contain a large amount of dye or pigments and also of uh, greater depth. So these are generally a little bit more challenging to remove and require more sessions. We also have uh, tattoos that are traumatic, for example, during a, an injury or penetrating injury to the skin and you, get, you have a little bit of pigment or dye that is deposited under the skin. There are also tattoos that are done for cosmetic uh, reasons, the commonest being eyebrow tattoos. So, and finally, there are medical uh, tattoos, for example, in patients who have to do radiotherapy sometimes. A tattoo is done to mark the area of radiotherapy uh, on the skin. So the early uh, methods of tattoo removal include things like uh, dermabrasion, electrocautery, uh, cryotherapy, which basically means freezing off the uh, tattoo. Uh, these are usually destructive methods of removing uh, tattoos and uh, they generally result in incomplete uh, removal of uh, the tattoos and the ink from the skin. And the problem with these destructive methods, it tends to lead to a lot of scarring. So the most effective method that we have uh, found for removing tattoos is actually by laser treatments. So lasers remove uh, tattoos by penetrating the skin and delivering light energy to the dye that is used in the tattoo. Uh, so when the tattoo dye absorbs the uh, light energy, it breaks up into smaller fragments and the heat uh, and the process of breaking down uh, stimulates the migration of scavenger cells to the area of the, uh, the dye and uh, these scavenger cells engulf and eliminate the dyes via the lymphatic system. Laser tattoo removals generally requires at least 7 to 10 uh, treatment sessions for significant clearance of the tattoo. However, there are some factors that um, generally help us predict how many sessions we need to uh, remove or lighten the tattoo. And these factors are summarized in uh, this scale called the Kirby Desai scale for us to evaluate tattoos. And in general, so in general, some uh, patients who, who require more sessions uh, of laser treatment for tattoo removal include patients with uh, firstly darker skin, uh, patients who have had tattoos done professionally uh, with a large amount of uh, dye and pigment deposited into the skin, uh, tattoos that are in the extremities meaning the hands or the legs, uh, and the toes uh, tend to be harder to remove and require more sessions compared to tattoos that are on the neck, the, the chest and the body. Okay. If you have uh, scarring in the area of the tattoo, the tattoo is generally harder to remove as well. Multicolored tattoos uh, tend to be more challenging compared to single colored tattoos. And uh, tattoos with uh, multi layers uh, under the skin tend to be harder uh, to remove as well. So, what kinds of lasers are used uh, in tattoo removal? Um, in general, the type of laser that we use to remove a tattoo depends on the color of the tattoo. So, different colored dyes absorb uh, light energy differently at different wavelengths. Uh, that's why it's important to choose a wavelength that is suitable uh, for the color of the dye that's used. So for example, um, black and blue dyes tend to respond well to the uh, Q-switch and the uh, laser at, the, at 1064 nanometer wavelength. Um, red and orange dyes respond nicely to the 532 nanometer um, uh, and the laser. Black, blue uh, and green dyes respond very well to the 755 nanometer alexandrite laser. 
and rarely purple dyes respond um, well to ruby lasers. So tattoo removals tend to require quite a number of sessions uh, and there are some potential immediate as well as longer term side effects of uh, laser removal that we need to be aware of. So downtime that's associated with uh, tattoo laser removal include redness, swelling, sometimes some blistering as well as uh, a little bit of discomfort over the area. Uh, we usually prescribe an antibiotic cream for laser tattoo removals as part of our aftercare and uh, potential long-term uh, side effects of laser removal include um, scarring as well as pigment changes over the area uh, be it hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation sometimes in the area where we do uh, the laser textural changes uh, can be seen as well uh, the, the area that's been treated can have a little bit of a different texture compared to the rest of the normal skin so newer technologies uh, in the market such as the picosecond lasers uh, have actually significantly reduced uh, the time and the number of sessions required for tattoo removal and in general it also improves the overall clearance of the, the tattoo. In particular the picosecond uh, 755 nanometer alexandrite laser has been shown to be very effective in helping to remove tattoos. This is even with multicolored tattoo. Uh, also combination laser therapy such as combination with a, an, a fractional erbium yak laser has been shown to increase the uh, clearance of the pigments of the tattoos as well as also to reduce the downtime and the number of treatments. So every patient is different and every tattoo is different as well so do drop in to the clinic for a consult if you have a tattoo you wish to remove and you want to know more. Uh, I'm Dr. Chiam, thank you for watching and we see you soon at Enso Medical Clinic.